Hey everybody, what's up? This is Retro Care Reviews doing a long-ish, I guess, overdue uh, MC review. I know it's been a minute since I did some proper television reviews, so uh, I'm gonna do some positive stuff uh, to get off of, to get things on a good note. Um, news first, then Moon Knight second, in case anyone's wondering. Uh, bearing the lead as far as titles go. Uh, I am actually a huge fan of Tatiana Mosley's work. I know, I think, uh, what I've heard so far is that mostly She-Hulk has been getting delayed and stuff like that. Um, so in preparation, in case it's still delayed, I want to do, um, so for all from Black Reviews because I really did like the show when it was new. Uh, I wasn't fully in Clone Club. Uh, I did want to plan out to make it really more of a, uh, Spider, a uh, Skull Spiders kind of review. Uh, this is, I even thought about this when she got announced, I think way back, like two years ago and now. So again, I, I'm really happy for the news and saw that, uh, I heard recently that, uh, the show is actually getting a sequel series. Um, I saw the news. I don't think she's signed on for that yet. Um, I could be wrong. Uh, it's an evolving story, so I'll tell you more as time goes on, probably in the shorts. Um, and other news, uh, I'm gonna be holding off my, uh, Halo, uh, review until the season is fully finished because I got word from Trench, uh, when we are doing a couple of watch-alongs on his Discord, that the soundtrack, uh, from the trailers that you guys saw my react to, Turns out uh, they didn't have uh, weren't didn't have the copyrights or weren't authorized to do the full uh, track because the guy who composed the game's soundtrack is suing uh, Paramount for some reason. So again, I have to figure out the news there. So what am I going to be doing in the meantime? Well, Moon Knight's still a thing. Um, yeah, starting off at the top, Oscar Isaac is Mark Spector. No, wait, he's uh, he's he's Jake Lovely. Oh, 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 no, 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 he's um Stephen Grant. No, he's three characters in one. That's that's basically Moon Knight's gimmick. Um, for the longest time, I've known it, um, mental health-wise, as multiple personalities. Now it's uh, just the DID, disassociating. Uh, it's the same thing, but with a different title. Um, it's more or less what they're going for here. Uh, for what I've known throughout episode one, that Steven's gonna be different than he is in the books. I think he's, like, the closest they have to, like, a Bruce Wayne kind of character. Um, they switched him around to being a little, like, MCU-friendly, make him, like, I guess the POV character you're gonna be needing. Um... Mark, though, is still what you remember from the comics. Um, he's still an ex-Marine trying to be uh, a b avatar to uh, Khonshu, who I don't know the actor's name off the top of my head, so it's going to be F. Murray Abraham. And if I'm reading his IMDb right, uh, I think I might have seen him in The Mummy? No, my God. Oh, I'm a deus. Holy shit. Wow. And Grand Rude of Hotel. So, yeah, a very classically trained actor in an MCU movie. That's not a obvious... <clears throat> theme going around here um for ethan hawk's author harrow harrow if i got his name right um i think he's an amalgamation of a couple of other uh, villains and stuff like that i think that's what uh g force new fresh ink uh tv not really tv tv review uh spot they're doing on their personal youtube channel a uh, card to them um i'm really happy the cast and he's starting to get his own show off the ground um, i hope it becomes more of a thing i hope it's like we got a podcast kind of variety like um uh, vibe check is so again i'm still i'm still there i'm still very positive for g4 regardless of what other assholes are saying online so anyway um ultimately for episode one and episode two is really more of like getting to understand steven's story getting to understand where things are going from here on out um as for mark um he only shows up until i'm gonna say the last five minutes in episode one and my god they make you want to know those last five minutes because the jackal was cg monster they've been using throughout these two episodes it's all very intimidating and stuff when Steven's, like, in the control of the body. But then when Mark comes in, he's like, oh, shit, give me the hell. And ends up, like, actually dragging him away. It's one of those cool little things I liked about that. Um, another big elephant in the room as far as storytelling goes. It's getting to feel more like Fight Club. Uh, for those who don't know that uh, now, uh, I guess, almost 25-year-old movie in my case. Wow, it's been a while. Anyway, uh, it's more or less the same thing. Uh, multiple personalities. I'm sorry, D.I.D., but with uh, Chuck Palahniuk's style of writing, for those who know, um, classic trailer. If you guys want to still try it out, um, I won't tell you the twist, but it's more or less the same thing. There, I might have loosely explained it when I did my Thirteen Reasons Why review. So again, if you know, you know. Um, so yeah, um, for episode two, uh, May uh, Calmway, if I got her name right, uh, Layla. I think she is supposed to be Mark's ex-wife. Like she, I think he divorced her to uh, stay stay safe in like all the adventures they had in, like before the show dropped. So that's a lot going on there. Um, I don't know if there's a overall theory about Jake Lockley because only the two personalities are a thing now. There should be a third probably in the next four episodes coming up. Again, that's uh, from neither here or there from my understanding. 
Um, from what I've known um, from traditional comic fans, they're okay with some of the changes, um, especially in Steven's case, because like I said, they did, it's the MCU. They didn't need another rich philanthropist billionaire type. I mean, it's understandable, and it's another Steve, like Stephen Strange, Stephen, uh, yeah. A lot, one too many Stevens. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, so that all being said, for episode two, it's very much action focused. It's uh, the Mister Night suit got recontextualized, obviously, but I wasn't around for the twenty thirteen run uh, for that debut of the of the, of the suit. Almost splurred, uh, splurred a little there. Um, but my thoughts so far of the uh, upcoming Mortal Legends figures will they be reviewed for the show? Uh, for me personally, uh, possibly. I like the Mister Night suit. It could make a really good. Um, I guess space suit kind of thing for any other uh suit Marvel Legends adjacent figures that just revolve around. But I know the Mrs. Nice suit has a little more um, uh, I, I think more street level than even uh, Mark's uh side of the suit is. Um, but yeah, the, the theme also since we're talking suits here, the the titles are all over the place. Uh, they named uh episode two some suit. Um, and speaking of me as a Kamara fan, I thought he was legit gonna, like, do, like, a henshin kind of style pose, but again, that's just me, uh, using Tokusatsu to decipher what is Moon Knight, essentially, so, again, take that as well as far as my opinions go. That all being said, for both episodes so far, um, they're pretty average, they're not bad, um, I know the chase scene in episode one with the trucks and stuff with <laughs> wake me up before you go go play in the background yeah the soundtrack wise for episode one very good very like uh, uh, uh well, very thin i really through thematically makes a lot of sense in steve's case to stay awake just to make sure that mark doesn't take control take a, take over the wheel and stuff like that anyway um as far as the cg goes also for the jackal in episode two um, there was a lot of cost cutting, and you can see why they want to keep it more psychological. Saying, "Is this guy really crazy, or were you seeing this, like a different thing?" Like, only um, Mark and Steven can see the jackal, and it does. It is pretty creative because, um, for those who don't know, uh, Moon Knight is one of the rare few, very um, other than Punisher and a couple of three level heroes in the Marvel universe, actually have committed like some huge, crazy anti hero kind of like vi vibes of their style of crime fighting. And the fact that Disney um, is doing this much for Plus uh, just to put a lot of cost cutting makes a lot of sense. It's very creative. It's it's how do we show an authentic version of this character without actually destroying our morals kind of thing. So I'm okay with it. Um, it's going to get less creative. I hope not um, as time goes on. Um, maybe, I don't know, if anything, if, they, if that shoe drops on like budget and all that stuff. I don't want it to be like the fifth or sixth episodes in. Um, this is technically a limited series. I don't think it's going to be a movie anytime soon. Um, yeah. And let's leading up to this recording. Sorry for that. Um, my overall thoughts with Ethan Hawke's, uh, Arthur. He's a good character. Like I said earlier, he's amalgamated of a couple of things. And I think episode true two, he dropped, uh, that he was originally an avatar of Khonshu. So there's a lot of, like, an old hat trick of, like, early, uh, early phases, um, Marvel where they're like oh it's the same character but it's an amalgamation of what he should have been in the comics it, it was like that like I think I've, I've always liked to call this like a mirror match kind of thing uh for those in the fighting games he knows that you're basically playing the same character against each other it's kind of like that it's not too mirror matchy obviously Mor Morbius did it worse uh card my review on that so that all being said um should you see this show as is? Um, yeah, if you're interested into the character, uh, keep in mind it's not going to be the 100% version you're getting in the comics. Um, for the Mr. Knight suit, semi non controversy that's happening with that. Um, it is a good suit. It is a good version. It's a good callback to the character. It's a good callback to his history. Um, I'm also aware that there were a bunch of QRL codes uh, splintered throughout both episodes. Uh, all you need to know there is, is just giving you free comics to what they were using for this episode. So it's not bad cross-promotion, I'm going to be honest with you there. It's nothing really crazy, honestly. Um, so for Oscar Isaac himself, he is definitely doing a heavy toll of having to play possibly three people in there. Um, again, Jackie Blackwell is not at play, but yeah, uh, Casting Machine and a few other channels are still thinking. Um, he might show up as, like, at the very least, same thing if, if, if Mr. Knight sues any indication, probably a reference to the comics. Um, if not, probably the QRL code as well. I, I would go for the QRL code kind of thing if you're going to look into that kind of Easter eggs. So with that all being said, um, both episodes are really good. I think they're okay. They're a good start if you're getting into this kind of surreal, psychological side of, uh, the MCU. Um... Also, not a lot of uh, UK love, I'm going to be honest with you. Most of these episodes were centered around on the UK, so technically it's never been really that used that much yet in the MCU proper. So 
it's nice to see that maybe it's a good way to like uh, make it like a attempt to be, like a midnight sun street level kind of aspect and the spiritual side of things uh for earth based like magics and shit but uh that all being said that's my uh, overall thoughts with moon knight i got a lot more than i thought i was gonna get with these uh, two episodes but what did you think let me know in the comments down below uh with that all being said i am rich care rich care reviews hope to hell i know anything about moon knight usually it's the other way around but yeah it's very specific, but yet somehow very watchable. Again, shout out to the cast and everyone so far for these last two episodes. I hope when I come back for the back half of the season, it's actually, you know, more engaging as time goes on. Hopefully, again, I'm at wait and see. But for right now, it's really good. It's it's a good pick me up after sitting through a really dumb Morbius. So with that all being said, and Kurt's finally coming up to my previous video here and my shorts playlist here for my thoughts on the whole Ezra Miller situation. Uh my shirt shirt here to sub to the channel, the notification bell down below where I do more reviews of Moon Knight as uh the next couple of weeks come down the road. And with that all being said, I am Roger Garage Review saying Is it multiple personalities or is, is there gonna be a Tyler Durden? Like, or do I start saying his name is Robert Paulson? For those who know, you know, right?